Hello, I'm Alistair McIntyre of electricscotland.com and I'd like to tell you about the accommodation section on the website. Essentially, I've been getting a, a lot of inquiries and in fact, always have had a lot of inquiries about can you help suggest accommodation for us? We'd like to go to Scotland, uh, this big area of Scotland and we're trying to find a bed and breakfast guest house, hotel, self-catering or whatever. And it's really not something that I am particularly familiar with, I have to say. Uh, but I had been considering if there was one way that I could help because, fun enough, a lot of people that email me tended to say something like, uh, thoroughly enjoyed your site, learned a lot about it, and as a result of spending time on your site, it's made us want to go to Scotland for a holiday. But unfortunately, you don't give us an awful lot of help after that about where to book accommodation and so forth. So when Scottish Accommodation Index uh, came to me and were interested in putting uh, an accommodation link into our main menu, uh, normally I would have simply said no, because uh, my main menu is basically for the site and it's not there to include uh, advertising. But in this particular case, I thought, well, this answered something that a lot of inquiries have come in about. And I thought, yeah, this might work. So I, when I visited their site, I was actually very impressed with the range of properties that they were offering. Uh, and as I say, this included uh, bed and breakfasts, uh, guest houses, uh, small hotels, large hotels, self-catering accommodation and so forth. Uh, so when you actually click on the link, you'll go directly to their website where you will see a kind of geographical spread. And if you click the appropriate area, you get a list of uh, all of the various uh, accommodations that uh, are available in that area. The nice thing about uh, the Scottish Accommodation Index folk is that they're basically agents and through them you will actually uh, deal directly with the actual accommodation provider. So for example, if you've been browsing through the various areas, you'll be looking at pictures of the properties and get some basic information and pricing. So when you actually uh, decide on a property, you just click on reservations and inquiries and fill in a small form, which is basically usually your first and last name, your email address, your telephone number, uh, um, basically when you want to go there, how many nights you want to stay, and then there's a space for some comments, because obviously you can ask for a single room, double room, triple room, family room, whatever, uh, and then you can add any additional comments you wish. And when you hit the submit button, that inquiry is sent directly to that particular accommodation um, be it a bed and breakfast or a hotel or whatever and they themselves then will then deal directly with you by emailing you back confirming whether it's okay confirming the price and so forth so it's actually um, a very easy way to actually find accommodation in Scotland if in fact you wanted to stay in an area where um, it perhaps wasn't listed and you're not quite sure where the nearest areas are to that uh, they also have a form since basically you just provide the same information but in addition to that you say this is the location I would like to stay and what the accommodation index folk will do is they'll actually email anyone that's in that immediate area to see uh, if, if they would be interested or can help you in any way and again if they can find someone then you'll get an email directly from that particular property. Uh, none of that it commits you uh, when you put in your inquiry. You'd only be committed when someone's corresponded back with you and said, yes, we'd love to have you and this is our pricing and we can fit you in for those dates. Uh, then if you decide, yep, let's go for that, then you proceed at that point. But certainly submitting a, a reservation uh, and inquiry um, does not commit you at that particular stage. So you can be confident that you're not being locked into anything at that point. So there you have the accommodation section on Electric Scotland. Uh, we think it's a great service. Uh, certainly we've never had any um, emails complaining about the service or anything like that. Indeed we've had several emails saying what a great service it is. So it does look to be an excellent service and I think you can use it with confidence. Uh, and basically, I hope it uh, makes your life a little bit easier when you're trying to book that holiday in Scotland. So, there you have our accommodation section of Electric Scotland. Thanks.